I'm Alvin, part of the core engineering team, and yeah, I'm I'm here to sort of formally introduce Delta, which is our new Delta, our new storage deal making engine. Uh, so basically, uh, Delta is a deal making engine microservice, and we're going to the microservice route because we think that this is the way you sort of create a solution that can scale. Because microservices has like one single task, right? So if you're sort of focused on that single task, you can scale that and you can sort of create more opportunities for that specific task itself. So so we decided to scale and we built a scalable solution that just focuses on deal making, and that's what Delta is. And hopefully, like we can potentially onboard massive some massive amount of useful data onto the fiber network. So in a high level architecture, so Delta is a daemon, is a background process, which is essentially, it's, it's also a YPFS node or a light IPFS node. So it means that it has its own block store and a DAG store uh, as well. Um, we wrap all of these functionalities to a RESTful API so that any any sort of systems that can communicate via HTTP can integrate with Delta. Uh, we are using Go and leveraging on the parallelism and concurrency mechanism of Golang. It has a telemetry and statistics collection. It has two modes, a lightweight standalone mode. So if you're building an application and you want Delta to sit with your application on a local host or on a desktop app, you can use that standalone mode or a cluster mode or a, ho a hosted mode. So if you want to have a hosted Delta and you want multiple users to just communicate with Delta via HTTP, you can use this uh, specific mode. So some of the features of Delta, uh, so obviously it's a proposal preparation and a deal proposal uh, deal making engine. So it's gonna compute your peace commitment for you. Uh, it supports both online and offline deals, which we are now coining end-to-end -end and import deals. Um, it has an automatic and manual repair or retry of deals. So if any, in case that some of these fail, faulted or stalled, uh, Delta is smart enough to retry them. But if in case that you need to do a manual Try, you can also do that with that. Um, there is a wallet and miner assignment functionality. So this basically means that if you have a specific set of deals and you want to have a specific set of wallets that you want to make a deal for those deals, so for those deals, you can do that with Delta. You can sort of ask Delta to use the specific wallet, sign all of these deals using this wallet, and then also use the same, like, same mechanism for minor assignment. So, so for minor assignment, um, you can do the same, similar to how the wallet is selected. You can specify, uh, you can ask Delta to just add, uh, just make a deal for this specific miner. So it's very flexible in terms of how you want to assign, where do you want to assign this deal and where do you want to, where, what, what wallet you want to use. So it cleans up itself. So meaning, so since it's just a, since it's just a deal making engine, it doesn't keep copies of these data. It, it, it is an IPFS node. Uh, it has a block store, but it, it just uses that as a staging environment for all of the files. So, but right after it creates that deal for that file, it's gonna clean it up, remove that, remove the remove the content, and it's gonna yeah, it's gonna just clean up the clean up any CIDs that uh, has already been dealt with. So it has its own check deal status. So all of these deals or content has a life cycle. So there is a way for a user to call an API so to check the state of this content. So because the content can go through uh, several phases, and I'm going to discuss that later on, like one of the slides. But there is a check deal status uh, 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 like functionality to it. So this is the content deal lifecycle. So when Delta consumes or when a user uploads a file for, to Delta, it goes through these phases, right? So first, it gets spent on the local block store. And then a piece commitment job is uh, spawned. It's a dispatch a job that will go with that will compute the piece commitment. And then right after it, com uh, it, uh, it compute that piece commitment, it's going to create the deal proposal, right? And then it's going to transfer. And then once the deal proposal is sent to the miner, uh, it's going to transfer. So depending on whether you want an online or offline deal, when an online when it's an online deal, it's going to transfer to that to the SP. Or if it's an offline deal, it's just going to send that proposal and let the deal owner or uh, SP upload the file uh, in another in another way, right? Or offline in an offline way. So, uh, so yeah. So I mentioned uh, it, it supports minor assignment. So if you have a specific minor that you wanted to assign to some deals, you can do that with Delta. Uh, say you have like for one file or for like one collection of files you wanted to uh, you want you all you only wanted to work with a specific set of SPs. You can tell Delta that you can sort of ask that as a request to Delta. 
And similar with wallet. So if you have like a set of wallet that has data cap, so you can sort of collect or set them or sort of collections of a wallet, and then you can use each of these wallet and assign them to a specific set of views, right? So you can ask uh, Delta to do it then, do that. Um, and there are more configurations. So you can uh, ask uh, Delta to uh, announce the content on the interplanetary network indexer. Um, you can also uh, flag if this if the SP needs to uh, remove remove or uh, remove or keep the unsealed copies. You can also set the duration, the start, and then the end evil. Right. So I'm just gonna do a rundown here. Uh, but there is a video that I posted uh, after this slide, but the, the, the upload is very simple. Um, you call this specific endpoint. Uh, we require you to have an SUI API key. That's the minimum identity that we need. Uh, you pass the file, and then you can see you, you can also specify the miner here and the connection mode, which is end-to-end, -end, which is means online. Uh, for offline, you use the import. And these are optional attributes here that you can, space, uh, you can check. Once you post in that, you'll have a content ID. Uh, and then you can use that content ID to check the status of that uh, of that content, right? And when you check that status, you will see like a bunch of information on meta meta about that content. So that includes the deal proposals, the deals, the deal, the piece commitments, and even the proposal parameters. You will be able to see that. So this is also like an example of how you to upload with the wallet. So in Delta, you can register a wallet itself and then you can ask delta to use that wallet for all of these deals and for you to for you to post a specific file with that specific wallet you just need to pass it as a parameter like in this example here just add it a wallet an address and then everything else is the same connection mode the size uh and then you can also and then you can still use the same stats content checker uh, so you will pass the ID itself and then you will see all of the contents, uh, proposal parameters and proposal, uh, yeah, parameters, process, piece commitments and everything that's attached to that content. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, two videos here for online and offline deal. It's going to be quick. I'm just going to play, see if it's going to, okay. So I'm running this Delta on my local machine. So this is recorded, but, uh, so I, so first Delta will scan your, Operating system scan for your. It's gonna create your the, the identity itself. It's uh gonna scan your operating system resources. Um, and then it's gonna launch the API node. Once the API node is uh is uh up and running, um, I'm gonna create uh a space a a a deal here for the specific content, which is just a file like a a PyCharm in installer. Um, and then I'm gonna specify the miner here as part of the metadata. Uh, and then I'm gonna. And then I'm gonna upload that, I'm gonna hit send, right? And then it's gonna give me, it's gonna give me a content ID. So there, content ID 159. And then I'm gonna use that content ID 159 to check the status. Uh, once you have that status, you're gonna see all of the information here. Uh, so it's gonna see the state. So now it's now being transferred. Uh, so this is, this, is, this is all like in my local host. And as you can see, the first entry here on the boost page that my my file is now being transferred from my local host to uh, Jason's miner. So this is Jason's miner, uh, SP uh, boost instance. Um, it's transferring at nineteen percent. We're gonna go forward here uh, to sixty per, to uh, one hundred percent to see uh, the, the the actual progress. And once this is done, the state of that content is going to change on the Delta side because we keep track and we observe and monitor all the content state. So it started when I, so when transfer started, when it, when I hit send again, it's going to say transfer finish, right? So uh, this, that's for online deal, uh, for offline deal, uh, it's a, uh, very similar in such a way that you will have to post it similarly on that specific uh, endpoint. But the key difference is that it's just going to prepare the deal proposal for you. And uh, and uh, the, that deal, and then uh, as soon as that deal proposal is sent to the miner, it's gonna it's gonna await for the confirmation from the deal user to upload the file. So here's the offline. I specify import. I check the status. The deal proposal was sent. Uh, and then if I go back to the boost, it's it's gonna say awaiting offline data import, right? So that's like how you sort of use Delta to create that uh, offline view.
So the first deployment of a single live Delta instance was uh, last just last month, March 5, 2020, sorry, Feb 9, 2023. That single node instance has already generated 27,828 online storage deals, 127 import deals. And, 20, and it's already computed 27,422 piece commitments, right? So uh, we envision that we can sort of use this example as, uh, as a, you know, as we, we can select so scale delta and install it in, or you make it make it usable for any solutions or any applications out there. Uh, we can sort of integrate it with any apps and then any other users and even in cross platforms and cross like hardware, right? So we envision that we can do that in the long run and that's how we will scale. That's how we will uh, onboard uh, massive amounts of data to the Filecoin network. Mm -hmm. So we are going to open, we're going to open the source soon. So right now, if you have access to the application research group, it's actually private because we are trying to complete some of the documentations that we have. Um, it's fully functional right now. It's just that we want to uh, complete the doc so that we can lower the sort of the onboarding and uh, the barrier for entry for most of the devs and most of the inter integration specialists. But we are looking and we are happy to work with any technologies out there who wants to incorporate storage, deal making, or file application or their system because this is ready. This is something that they can use. This is something that you can spin now. Um, it's just that we wanted to sort of complete the documentation first. So I want to give a shout out to uh, some of our SPs, uh, some of the storage providers who have helped us along the way. Um, so when I was trying to build the first POC for Delta, uh, I was sort of like trying to uh, experiment it, uh, how to get, create a proposal, but I wanted to test it with a real miner, right? with real some, someone who was actually running a storage provider. So uh, Jason is our resident SP who has been helping me like test out any all of all of the edge cases for Delta because it's really important that we sort of catch and observe and monitor all of the the these messages coming from the SP miners and catch them on Delta so that we can so that Delta can can do some can uh, can uh, make decisions based on like based on those triggers or based on those status right. So I want to thank Jason, Miss Nam. Manoj, um, and, uh, Andromeda, Juan, James, Hassan, Dharma. So they've all sort of helped us out in testing this and uh, we have more deals coming in for them. So yeah, I'm going to give the floor to Jason for Delta yeah. DBM. Yeah, so the uh, Delta really is like, at least the way I'm looking at it, is this fundamental building block that just allows deals to be made in a very easy way where all the complexities associated with that are kind of abstracted away. And so as we're using Delta and uh, just trying to, I guess, get data onto the network, uh, we need a way to manage and keep track of that. So when you have a large data set, uh, you might want multiple replications of it. Like you might want to copy it to six, eight, 10 different storage providers. Uh, you want to keep track of the data cap that's being used for that. You want to see which files have been copied where, uh, where they're being hosted. And while Delta does track that information, what we're building with DDM, as we call it, the Delta Data Set Manager, is this really lightweight API and front end that anyone can install. And it provides a way of using Delta, but aggregates together some of those statistics and gives like a really nice... Um, user experience so that that stuff can be tracked. Uh, and then all the deals that are made with it just flow through Delta. They integrate really nicely together and everything just kind of works um, that way. So we're currently building this out. Uh, one of the data sets that we're looking at for our first test is actually this company called Radiant Earth. And they're uh, like an AI machine learning. They have this large AI machine learning data set that is literally millions of files, uh, quite a bit. We don't even know the full size of it, but we copied down just uh, the first two terabytes of it, which we're currently creating car files. And we're going to use that as like our test case using uh, DDM and Delta to push that out to some SPs and then track that replication kind of end to end from like uh, an actual customer of wanting to back up onto Filecoin all the way through to um, actually storing that with deals through Delta. So that's currently a work in progress. And we're also working with a couple SPs and just determining what their requirements are as they help uh, onboard data into the network. So that's DDM. Yeah.